Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. This girl ain't got no earrings. This girl ain't got no earrings. Why this girl got no earrings? Jesus, 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 yeah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Then we came alive together. Then we came alive together. Then we came alive together. Came alive together. What's your name? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You wanna say it? Say it. Yeah, you can take it. Yeah. But in Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That ain't good. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hello. How you doing? This is a day. This is the day. This is the day. Wait, that is not how the song go. This is the day that the Lord has made. Wait, I don't know. This ain't even no singing kind of thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. <sighs> Jesus. I need help. Okay. Help. 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 Let's talk about sex, baby. No, let's not really do that. Please. No, thank you. No, thank you. That is not something that I want to discuss. Why? Hold on, y'all. It's saying I have 14 minutes of space when I just deleted three hours of video. Can we stop? I'll be back. And just like that, this shit still tripping. Okay. I'll still be back. I took off 20 gigs and it's still trying to say uh, 11 minutes. Child, where? And then I have two gigs of space. I went in and did 10 more. Shoot. Now I got 30. Tell me I can't record. Okay. This Johnny earrings. This child needs earrings so bad oh, don't even know what i'm doing in my life okay just let me be me okay let me live okay i have been trying to uh, do like an update let me let me I have been trying to do an update for you guys. I need to stop talking slow. Okay. Hey, hello, how y'all doing? I wanted to give you guys an update, a recap on my journey since you didn't get to see it. And the first thing I'm gonna do before I do that is put on some daggone earrings and get this clip out of my hair, okay? <laughs> See you in a second. Alrighty, we're back. You can't even tell I have earrings on, but they're there. <sighs> so, in that short amount of time, my pump died, but I was going to have to stop anyways because I'm going to have to go pick up my husband. We had a cute little hatchback, which was like 11 or 13 years old, which finally went kaput. Well, was going to. So we made the wise decision to go ahead and sell it while it was still worth something. The only thing is, probably would have been better to do a trade-in because now we have to do with hoopla finding a car purchasing a car or the fact that we found a car but we bank with honeydew and they don't have bank statements or some things and you definitely need that to get a car anywho anyhow getting off topic i definitely walked myself in here 
I'm gonna go have to get him in a minute, is what I'm trying to say. And then got me all the way off. But I did write down some notes to help me, which kind of hindered me because I've had to rewrite them three times. Because when I went to record, I can't read them. I can't read them. Can you read this? I can barely read the rewritten ones. This is wild. I found out I was pregnant like the day after my birthday. Thank God I only had, well, you know. Let's see. Right. So, found out I was pregnant in November. I was probably already between a month and two months pregnant. Thanksgiving rolled around. That's when morning sickness hit. Literally, either the Wednesday, no, Wednesday or Thursday. I want to say Thursday, like Thanksgiving. Was it the morning of? Maybe the morning of. I was blowing chunks. I was violently sick. But I thought that it had to do with my gluten intolerance, wheat intolerance. It's really, it's really a wheat intolerance, but it's easier just to say gluten free. Anyways, I thought it had to do with that because if I get to eating too much gluten, which I have been lately postpartum, I get toe up, right? And I, I, I'll even throw up if I have like way too much. So that's what I thought that was. And that's what I was telling everybody else to make sure they didn't catch on to me because I wasn't gonna tell them as in my family until Christmas. So I feel all over the place. So I don't know if I should start again or what. I found out I was pregnant in November I was probably two, three months pregnant at that time. And then on Thanksgiving, that's whenever I had morning sickness for the first time. The morning of Thanksgiving. How, whatever I said earlier is how I said it. Boom. <sighs> Come to find out, I have HG, hyper hypermesis gerbatium. It's been like a year since someone told me about that so it's like i had hg i cannot keep anything down i throw up if i had water if you have questions you want me to dig more into it i will because i'm already being a little add and i think it's because i know that i'm on a time schedule and so i cannot think at the moment okay and then towards the end of my pregnancy had some high blood pressure readings and you know was at risk for preeclampsia and had to monitor myself twice a day at home da 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 da, -da. I end up being induced for that reason and if you would like me to go more into detail about my labor and delivery story I'll definitely have my husband here for that because yeah, I was induced for 48 hours or so. Child, I don't know. More than a day, maybe less than two. But I was there for two days. Okay, so yes, I was induced for at least 40 hours. Let's just say that. I was induced for over a day. I did, I did the balloon for like literally a whole day. And then I had to be induced. And that was like literally a whole day. So, with the Pitocin. So yeah, we can get into that. We can get into that. The whole, yeah. We can get into that. And I had some type of IV medication. I did not do an epidural. I was going to try to just do it no medication but then they said something about the IV and child I was like okay you can go ahead and uh 
was not have this IV in my arm for no reason. I mean, it was using it for other stuff, so. Anyway, yeah, that could be a whole thing because I don't want to get thrown off of what this conversation is supposed to be about. So if you want to hear about my labor and delivery, you know, it was a vibe. You know, was playing games, listening to music, and I'm already saying too much. But there's a little, a little teaser for you. Let's see. I had a second degree tear. So fun. Oh yeah, we can get into that. We can get into that. I stayed with my eye. The three of us, my husband and my son, we all stayed with my parents for like two weeks while I recover, you know, get some help with the baby, help with meals and all that, get catered and taken care of, let my husband still can kind of continue his work schedule for the most part. And then when we went back home, we were home for like two, sorry, I was looking at something. We were home for like two weeks packing and trying to finalize our place to be living because people be playing but now we're here um i want to say we moved in august 20th so like literally my son was a month old a month and a day old we were moving which one was very difficult to navigate while breastfeeding and pumping let's say that and very difficult being a month recovered from a second degree tear in delivering a child but my i didn't have a big baby they, they estimated elias to be anywhere between five and seven pounds he was six 13 ounces so perfect yeah, moved in four months. I wasn't doing anything heavy, just like a lot of moving of a small things. I don't think I was like in pain. I was definitely like tired, sluggish. I was only in, was I sore? I was probably sore. Yeah, I think at one month, I wasn't necessarily in pain unless I was trying to I kind of remember that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me not lie to you. If I was like getting up, sitting down, anything that dealt too much with the core, pelvic, floor area, made me feel like my guts was going to fall out of my vagina. Yes, I recall. I recall. But I felt good enough to move. Let's just say that. I thought my vagina was going to open up, but I felt okay. Six weeks postpartum, however, I was like, if I had to go to work, I would be calling in because I'm still walking kind of funny and I still like, if I have to sit up or, you know, do all that other stuff, like, yeah, I was go to work, please. So to anyone who, who, who did that, who does that, anyone in the military, you know, I salute you. I need them three months and more if you're going to offer it. Um, but yeah, at three months, I was like, I'm 90% there. I feel pretty good. No pain, no soreness. If anything, I would just feel discomfort. And that would only be like, if I'm in a lazy boy and I'm like in this deep, in this deep seat and I'm like linked back and I have to use all of my core, which I don't have to get up. And it's like, mm, I can still, I, I had a baby. Let's not forget type of thing. And, but four months, I'm not sore at all. But, but now that we're here, I said all this to get here. I am just now wiping instead of patting. I don't know if that's just me. I don't know if it's just me being scary. But if you can take anything from that, then obviously I have not had any sex. 
at four months postpartum. Now, sexual tings is another ting. Not to say too much, but speaking of too much, I'm not, um, I have not had a period, okay? But I'm seeing red, okay? Down there, okay? When I use the restroom, okay? Now, red is an exaggeration, but without saying too much, I hope you can pick up what I'm laying down. Okay. Any tips? Any, any? I don't know. What you're going to say, go to the doctor. I'm going to the doctor. Don't worry about it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. But no. That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. And I'm getting the hair loss. Let's see if I can get some. Let's see if I can get some hair. Let's see. If I can get some hair. What's happening? It's all gone, baby. Oh my gosh. You drink it all, baby. Say I'm for much. Say I'm for much. Can you see? Child, it didn't click to something else. No, they can't see. No, they can't. Is that a lie? Or is it the truth? Because I believe. Do you ever go to kiss your baby that you just can't leave? I just want to. A liar. A liar. A liar. A liar. I shall give a four month update on little baby Elias after he has had his four month doctor's appointment. And because of the holidays, it won't be until next, next week. So expect something at that time. Do not ask me why I felt the need to rush to record that video in the house because I have a 40 minute drive. I could have tried to chat, chat, chat it up and maybe it would have been more like collected. But no, low key. It may be like a postpartum symptom. My my thoughts are everywhere. 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 Okay. I'm trying to think what other things I can tell you about. I'm trying to think of like the kind of person that I am or the way that I can describe myself. Right now it's going to be irritated that can't nobody stay in their lane. Scorpio, if you, you know, if you see my Get to Know Me video, you already knew that. If you didn't, go watch it. I am, I'm trying to think, I'm a very... I'm trying to think, am I a nice person 
or a kind person. I'm gonna have to look that up and let you guys know. Okay? Because there's a difference. I am a helpful person. I'm gonna say that. Regardless of how I feel about anything or anyone, I'm gonna help you. That's like in my nature to help people. I can legit not like you. But if I see you in need of help, if I see if I see somebody who's just done me dirty all my life, but I see them in the rain, on the side of the road, not even on the side of the road, they're in the middle of the street. Jesus. With a broke down car, I would go and help them. Even though I don't know nothing about cars. It could be as simple as, do you need me to call for help? You know? Okay, but no, I'm a very, I can be, I can be, I can be a very blunt person, like definitely call it exactly the way it is, sugar coke for who, even with like, see I knew that wasn't a motorcycle, I hate whenever cars rolling around with one freaking headlight, like I can't even gauge what the fuck is going on. Okay, when I'm on a like straightaway and don't have to exit for a long time, I'm gonna talk to you guys. Until then. <laughs> Christian. No, let me stop. 
I am a human being. Continue on I-35 E North toward Denton. I am a human being with thoughts, feelings, um, anxieties, pressures, if depression, like emotions, mood swings, bad days, good days. Life, death, family, friends, parents, coworkers, supervisors, job, bills, like life is happening while I have faith. And my faith is something that I turn to whilst life happens. In the midst of cussing in the midst of me praying in the midst of me driving in the midst of me washing dishes God is always going to be God and I will always be running over things in the road as well as chasing after him and wanting to have a heart as pure and as kind and as loving as him at the same time, I might cuss some people out bump some Kevin Gates do my little uh thing exit right to state highway and west if you know, you know, okay? I, I can't get my mind together because I'm trying to exit, okay? But yeah, I totally understand how people can get confused and be talking about how Christians are hypocrites or they're just like nasty people or that they judge people. But we have to understand that there is spiritual warfare. And people will parade about saying they're Christians just to create chaos and confusion, just so people can say, oh, look, this is how Christians act. This is what y'all do. Or they can even be like tricky and manipulative about it to where they seem good and they seem pure and they seem kind and they do all of the things but it's their intent which is wrong or they may say things that sound pretty nice that make you feel kind of good but they're not speaking the word they're not giving you God ordained truth. Okay? There are people out here to manipulate, to cause confusion. And you have to understand that. There are also people out here who are just trying to live their day, live their life, make it to heaven. And maybe be example to like one or two folks out here. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be so fun to edit. So fun. Yeah, you know, it gets tiring being a PK. Preacher's kid, if you didn't know, being a PK because it's like you have to be buttoned up and presentable. At literally all times, I was going to say something specific, but every it seems it seems like everybody knows you. You know, everywhere you go, you run into folk. Everywhere you go, somebody know who your daddy is. It's so excuse the heck out of me if I want to be me. I realized when I said that I like all types of music, I didn't even name things that I listened to. So, to make it easy, I'm just going to 
list people off literally the top of my head, no specific order. Ordered ahead. From three categories. We're gonna go in no specific order. Rap, R and B, gospel, rap, Eminem, Kyle, Logic, G Easy. Toby. I already said Kevin Gates. Russ. Drake. Let's move to R&B because <laughs> Kalani, Queen Niger, Beyonce, her, Daniel Caesar, Chris Brown, Amy Winehouse, that in there it's okay um justin bieber we gonna move on gospel maverick city kirk franklin john p key marvin sapp the clark sisters pierre shear jonathan McReynolds, corinne hawthorne evie mckinney i can't go on but I'm driving. Let's talk about anxiety. I have a fear of driving. I've been in two, three, four accidents. One of them my fault. Well, and it wasn't because I hydroplaned. Um, I feel like I'm just like playing a trivia game. Spouting out answers. I'm a real home body. If I'm not going on an adventure, I want to be at home. I just like being in the comfort of my home. And that's probably because I like being with my husband. husband is home for me and I like to be home. Amusement park. Camping. Or just like a out. day out on the town. Right to Bowling. Go karting. Laser tag. I like to do And if cussing is going to be an issue for you, it's okay. You can still subscribe. Just when you see me pop up, push the save for later. Watch for later. Whatever the heck it says. Watch Station later. Right watch me later. Put the kitties to bed. And watch me later. To keep left to State Highway 121 North. I am a big procrastinator. And I'm working on it. And a part of me is like, am I a procrastinator or am I so helpful to a fault that I overbook and overschedule and overpromise and I have no time to do all of the things, all of the things, all of the things that I want to do. Baby, I don't know what you did, but you gonna have to wait. You don't have to wait, baby. I can't, I can't crash us. We have to live long lives together. Did you guys like my hair? I was really just gonna stretch it. But I still need it to be out. So I'm not really stretching it, but I decided oops, I'm pulling out a bead. stretch out this hair without doing like rubber bands 
can somebody give me some tips? Thank you so much for watching this video and watching it all the way through, even though I'm all over the place and I could probably get diagnosed for ADHD just from this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for sticking it out with my frantic self. I really appreciate it if you would like this video and if you would comment any any questions you want me to address in a future video or you can tell me and narrow down if you would like a labor and delivery recap where I can talk about being induced going into labor whatever intravenous medicine I had, hypnobirthing, second degree tears, getting stitch up, stitched up, you know, what questions you want me to answer for Elias' four month update. If you have any more questions about me, what videos you want me to do with my husband because I got one coming. But, yeah. Oh, and then also, leave a comment if you got any tips for my hair. Thank you, I really, we really appreciate it. Especially for postpartum shedding. We appreciate that, we appreciate that, we really do. But now let me cut this video off because now it's like I've been saying bye for the last five minutes. I was gonna get freaked out. If that nigga would have pulled up, I was going to reverse so fucking fast. I'm going to edit this video. This portion has been 40 minutes long, so bye.